Hello folks, in this video I want to show you how you can make a meta human character follow the player or any other object with his or her eyes. We also make the character switch to random eye movement if the player is far enough and then start staring at the player again if the latter approaches the character. Also, the character is smiling slightly at the player if the latter is close enough. In my previous video I already explained how to implement random eye movement and blinking. But in this video we have a slightly different approach, so I explain it again at a rapid pace. Let us begin. We open the fast post-process animation blueprint of meta-human characters and switch to the animation graph. We insert another control rig after the existing one. Select Face Control Board as Control Rig class and activate under the input section the following controls. The left and the right eye blink control, this control for the central eyes aim, the look at switch control, this convergence switch control. and the left and the right mouse corner pull controls as well. The look at switch control just has to be set to 1, thus activating the eyes aim. We are only interested in the ice aim location, so we split the ice aim transform pin to reveal it. We also split the location pin further to get access to each coordinate separately. From X, Y and Z we only need X and Z. But they are somehow switched. X affects the vertical eye movement. and Z is for horizontal eye movement. I do not know why that is the case, but we have to accept it for now. The convergence control pin is needed if we want the character to look more realistically at closer objects. Finally, the mouse corner pull control controls the smile. By the way, if you want to get a good overview over all the facial controls of the MetaHuman, I recommend that you watch this YouTube video. I put the link in the description below. We need variables to control these values programmatically. I have already declared the variable current eye blink value to control blinking. The variable current eyes aim location should control the looking direction. But as said earlier, we have to switch X and Z. So we split the output pin of the getter and connect the pins accordingly. There is also a float variable to control convergence. The variable current smile value should control the smile. Since we want the character to either rotate her eyes randomly or stare at player but not both at the same time, we need this boolean variable which simply switches between the two states. We also have these target value variables for blinking, eyes aim and smile respectively. We need them for better smoothness. The idea is that we set the new values not directly but rather define them as target and in each frame interpolate between the current values and the target ones. We do this in the event graph. Let us switch to it. To make the event graph more uncluttered, I declared some macros. The first macro get eyes center just calculates the middle point between the eyes of the character. 
Here I use the bones of both eyes which you can find in the owning component, namely in the face mesh. I calculate the middle point with the standard method. I get the world space location of both bones, subtract the one location from the other, and take a half of the resulting difference and add it to the ladder location. The second macro get eyes aim plane is needed to calculate the eye movement properly. The eyes aim control assumes namely that the target view object is located on a virtual plane straight in front of the character's eyes. Therefore, we need to define this plane to calculate the proper eye rotation. For that, we grab the world space location of this forehead bone. On this bone, the up vector is showing forward. To place this plane 20 cm in front of the face, we move this point forward by 20 cm with the bone's up vector. This is the center of our plane. And the normal of the plane is just the up vector of the bone, which just points forwards. The third macro is fairly simple. It should calculate the location of the player. In our case, it is just the camera location. The graph itself consists of three parts. In the upper part, we just set random values to the target variables, and in the middle part, we interpolate between the current variables and these target variables to achieve smoothness, as I have just explained. In the lower part, the actual looking at the player is implemented. Let us start with the upper part. At the start of the game, we set the target eye blink value to 1, thus forcing the character to close her eyes. Then we let her wait 100 to 150 milliseconds and set the target eye blink value to 0 to make the character open her eyes. Then let her wait 2 to 4 seconds and make this process an infinite loop. Additionally, at the start we wait 1 to 3 seconds and set the eye's aim location to random value, but only if the random eye movement is activated. I have found that these ranges of random values work best. Finally, we repeat these steps infinitely often. Now we only need to interpolate between the current values and the target ones. We do it each frame in this middle part of the graph. But at the beginning of each frame we check if the instance of this animation blueprint is valid. Because sometimes if you start the game in the editor you get two instances of this animation blueprint. And only one of them is really valid and has access for example to the camera. So we allow only the valid one by checking if its camera manager is valid. In the case of blinking, the float variable current eye blink value is interpolated between itself and its target counterpart with the function f interp to constant with a random speed. The vector variable current eyes aim location is interpolated between itself and its target counterpart as well, this time with the function v interp to constant and also with the random speed. Thus, we achieve smooth blinking and smooth eye movement. We do the same procedure with the smile so that the transition to it is smooth as well. Further, only if the player is less than 60 cm away from the character, the latter follows the player with her eyes and smiles slightly with this value 0.4. Otherwise, we activate the random eye movement and make the character stop smiling. As I said earlier, the eyes aim control assumes that the target view object is located on a virtual plane straight in front of the character's face. Therefore, for each point the character is looking at, we need to calculate the point on this plane which is located at the same angle to the eyes as the original one. We achieve this with the intersection function. We start the ray from the middle point between the eyes and shoot it toward the view target location. 
We make this ray extremely long to be on the safe side. We shoot the ray in the direction from face to target and not in the opposite direction. So that the calculation also works for the points between the face and the plane. And of course we use our ice aim plane as a plane in the intersection function. Additionally, we have to transpose this intersection point into the local space. So, we subtract the middle point between the eyes from this intersection point and unrotate the result making this resulting point local space. Sometimes, if the angle gets too big, these values are getting out of the range and the eye rotation does not fit anymore. Therefore, the outliers must be filtered out. We only allow the values to be in range from minus 40 to plus 40. Only if the point is not an outlier, we finally set the target eye's aim location and disable the random eye movement. Otherwise, the algorithm falls back to the random eye movement. Let us test it. It works. But if we get very close, the convergence does not fit. So I have implemented a little convergence adaptation here. For the distance bigger than 20 cm to the face, there is no convergence. But if we get closer, the convergence is bigger the closer we get. I use this function for this. If the argument is 20, the convergence is 0. And if the argument is 14 or smaller, the convergence is bigger than 1. But as the maximal convergence value is 1, the result is actually clamped to 1 for arguments below 14 cm. Thus, the convergence achieves its maximum already within 5 cm of movement. But you can experiment with these values and find the formula which fits your needs. If we start the game and get closer to the character's eyes, we see that the convergence is also working now. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.